Hi there, it's Joseph here, Edge Dynamics, making a shave video and got eight days worth of filth. I shouldn't say that, it's not nice, is it? Eight days worth worth of growth and it's coming off hopefully smoothly. Uh, the razor I've got here is one I've just finished. I'm just taking oil off it because I've just completely had it soaked in oil. Um, it's a Joseph Rogers, I'll show you it from this angle. It's Joseph Rogers and Co. And I'm most proud of the scales. If you, uh, it's got just the slightest of curves. Uh, came out really nice. It's buffalo horn and it's got a slight extension um, for a bit of a look. You can't really do that with all tight razors, it depends on the tang and tail. And it's a bit chunky at the front end, or it definitely looks a bit chunky on the camera. Um, it's got beveled, it's beveled all the way around, and it's got a lined wedge. Uh, it's light, super light these scales are and I'll show you the actual razor as well, that'll help. Uh, there's the blade and uh, it's got some pits up here but other than that it's in pretty good nick. Uh, I'll show you the grind. It's a nice little triangle wedge and it's got a bit of a hump there and you see what I did at the end of the scales. I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of like a diamond thing I've done on the back end. I don't know how that's showing up. But, um, yeah. And there you go. Look, that shot looked pretty bad actually when I showed you that front end. But, um, it is tapered here. Comes back and back and I uh, honed it on the Azuku Kitter I gave it a full Nagora progression set the bevel on the 1k debardo and then went straight to the uh, natural progression and I finished on water five laps just on water which is something I haven't done yet on that uh, Kitter so I don't know what that's going to do to it I'm not sure if it's capable of uh, finishing with just water but uh, we'll find out the HHT is a bit confusing it wasn't working and then it was working so and the brush I'm using let's move this glass out of the way yep guessed it it's the Plisson, the high mountain white horn handle business. The um, reason I'm using this is because I've got this uh, new cream to try. It's Penhalicans, it's a Blenheim bouquet. And uh, I tried it last night for the first time. Uh, with the two band and it it just exploded there's just lava foam everywhere so i thought i'd try it with a softer brush um and we'll see and the, the fragrance on this it, after i'd rinsed it off i was the whole evening I, I, it was like i'd used the uh, cologne so it's really powerful uh, i don't mind the fragrance it's not bad it's a floral fragrance and i think that's about it all's left to do is take a sip of tea. Right, I just wet my face. Open this window a bit, even though it's turned to winter basically. It's cold, windy. And it's raining. So I don't think we'll see the sun again. wet this brush. Don't think you need a lot of this stuff. Um, I don't. I'm not a fan of shaving creams and things like this but uh, it's 
put that much on, not a lot, I'll put a bit more. And let's see what, what happens. Straight away the fragrance. Right here, that's cold. Straight away the fragrance. Really strong. I mean, it's, I think it's growing on me. Because a few years ago I couldn't take this fragrance, but last night it was quite nice. I, might, I would consider getting the uh, cologne. I've got um, Opus by Penhaligans and that's just amazing to me that is. I definitely need some water. Could do some bit of hot water would be nice as well. See this stuff just kind of takes off. It's like real messy as well. There we go. It's got good fling properties, this stuff. Goes all over the place. Uh, this doesn't look like the lather I made last night. work it a bit. It's quite sudsy. I know this is considered a like a first class shaving cream. Definitely it's the strongest fragrance for a, a cream or soap that I've tried. Just take a bit of this excess beef it up there we go I think that'll do yeah. <clears throat> yeah it's definitely messy messy stuff and also as well last night I started my face started to sting a little bit because I'm quite sensitive to uh, I can feel it actually stinging now that's why I'm mentioning it but we'll go all the way Bit of a shame, but there's obviously one particular ingredient that doesn't agree with me. Um, it's not as bad as the A and E uh, Tertius, is it? It's over there. Actually, I gave it away. Tertius, yeah. I mean, that just set my face on fire. Right, let's see how this performs. Shaves. I'm not really going to know to go against the grain. No discomfort, doesn't feel rough. And it's certainly close.
definitely got some sound effects this way there. That's nice and close. Seems okay. Uh, <coughs> try a bit more cream. I've got a feeling I'm not really going to be using this again, so let's try and use it. I think really this sort of thing is ideal for bowl lathering. Definitely stinging me, but it's just like a mild, it's just a mild sting. Put some blood down there. <coughs> as well. A lot of cloud cover. I've had some severe winds as well. This actually feels really good there. I don't know if it shaved well or if, if it didn't shave well. That's still not going to tell me if I can use uh, water only on the uh, Zuku Kitter. I should have done like 20 laps. But it's hard to test now because I'm always shaving on camera. She probably shouldn't have gone over that again, whatever that is. But I'm going to probably stick with the kitter for a while.
Let's actually, no, I'm going over that in here. That was actually clean. That's fine. <coughs> That's it. Just out of respect, wipe the razor down. But, um, just another shave, really, nothing. Nothing amazing happened. I've put a few watermarks on this now. So I'll take those out and re hone it. It's a nice razor to hone. It sits nice and flat. <coughs> and considering that, I mean, I, I jam a, a load of oil in the pivot area to avoid rust and things like that, and it's dead tight there still. So that's good. It's not going to need retightening. And uh, let's try and seal this up. A little scratch or something. For some reason I've got cold water coming out. Uh, that looks really good. Looks really close. <clears throat> I've got no stinging, so I'm going to use the uh, Institute Carite face cream because it's cold out there. So I need something thick. Well done. Right, that's it. <coughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. And I hope you're all doing well. And I'll see you next week, I guess. Cheers. Thanks. Bye.